Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 8 of my Night of the Dead Let's Play series. We are heading out towards the theatre is the plan. I've gone and handed in the pickaxe off camera. It was on camera, but I've couldn't i thought i had the game audio issue figured out apparently i did not i have figured it out now it was my limiter for some reason was limiting the game sound not just my microphone so it was like putting it in a hertz range that would block it so the game audio was recording it was just it was cutting it out over and over again except for really loud noises like the the bike backfiring would be audible everything else would be too quiet so we have figured that out now which is awesome so now we can continue on with our day and hopefully no more audio issues the weird thing is it's only this that it would do it with it didn't do it with any other game but night of the dead and i don't know why because the limited technically affected everything but it only seemed to affect this game the most it's very strange got a few boys around we've got some uh, i'm not a big fan of still only having leather armor but i guess we don't have much of a choice can i fit up the side of this fence oh shit <gasps> man of fuel oh shit all righty must find fuel Easy. We'll just break some cars. No worries. I didn't um, push the right button. I pushed R to take all. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sleuthing. Oh. Aren't you dressed pretty? But you look like a dude, so I don't know whether you were a man or a woman originally. Alright, now we jump over here. Go to here. Boop -ba -doo. Let's get the bike off. And move it forward. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we're Gucci. He's gonna try and hug me. He's gonna go off. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Oh my god. The man's unstoppable. Holy crap. Very strong man. Right, let's also eat a burgie. That'll make us all happy. Um, now, is the front side around the other end, is it? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, do I just quickly drive the bike around then? Probably should. Otherwise, I'll forget and I'll have to run all the way back over. And, oh. That'll work. Alright, we just need to head down closer to the front entrance. Alright, it's gonna get busy. Have you become curious about the principles of internal combustion engines? Then it's a good time. There's a decent book about internal combustion engines at the nearby parking lot. Good. 
I need that one for the electricity side of things. Oh my Jesus. Oh shit. Okay, these guys are fuck pretty strong. Um, all right. oh shit. Oh, fuck. Holy crap, I'm struggling a little. Ooh. Needed a bit of distance. Doesn't help when I hit the walls. Shit. This guy's gonna fucking kill me. Holy shit. Ouch. Oh my god. Holy crap. It's this. It's this guy. This dude in the blue. There we go. Right. Should be okay now. Burn. Don't throw the log at me. Just oh, get crispy. There we go. Ooh. Little bit sketch, little bit sketch. Maybe we gotta look into something like that. We've got big gas boy. We've got to kill him. Have to try at least. Kill him. Right, just don't let him harpoon you and we'll be good. I keep him stun locked, we good. Where's the actual entrance to this fucking place? Right there. Alright, theatre goers. How are you all doing today? Batter up. It's you that always calls me. Ow! Fucking issues. Fucking hell. Pretty resilient. What do we got here? Bone shoes. Get away. God, they're strong. Far out, man. Ridiculous.
sure doesn't seem like an appropriate place for Lieutenant Colonel Victor to have clandestine meetings. If we can damage him enough, he'll blow all these guys up, is my theory. Oh. Okay, I don't know whether we're ready for the desert area, to be honest. We're struggling pretty, pretty hard over here. I honestly don't think we're ready for this area, because it's getting... Ridiculous now. They just take so much more damage. Like these guys are ridiculous. My God. Example. Right. Find the suspicious place. Biological laboratory of theatre. We just don't have the heels at the moment to, to continuously sustain doing what we're doing right now. It's fine when it was just the two of them, but I still took a fair amount of damage even with having only two of them. Oh. We well, got it. Receipt swimming pool membership. Lieutenant Colonel Victor came here for an organ, it appears. Unfortunately, it seems that the mutant substance hasn't reached its intended destination. Based on the receipt you just picked up, it suggests that Victor frequented a swimming pool. We should head to the pool to uncover more clues. Get out of here, Snoop Dogg. Stop it. Gotcha. Right. The swimming pool. See, I really want that. I think we should try and just maybe grab it and get the hell out. If we have to. Somewhere. I mean, I can get cloth from hitting these, so we could make more bandages in theory. I kind of just want to get out of here though. Maybe we'll just quickly loot these ATMs, this bookshelf, and then we're bailing for now. Hmm. Couple good books in there though. Right, I'm just going to have a herbal because it's insta heal. Yeah, we just don't have... We don't have the strength to keep fighting these guys. We are struggling really, really badly. I think you're safe when the enemy is at a distance. Creatures like the Tentacle Jumper will ambush you out of nowhere. Gunners threaten from a distance with their guns, so you need to be constantly aware of your surroundings and move accordingly. Mm-hmm. I just want to peek in here. What do we got? What are you gonna do? Ah, oh, fuck, I tried to dodge it. Soldier, have you encountered zombies that use explosive attacks? By utilizing the explosion resistance skill, you can be significantly protected from such attacks. By enhancing your resistance to explosions through this skill, you can greatly run, 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 run. Received from those creatures. Prepare for the explosive zombie attacks by utilizing the skill. Nice. Get it. Fuck. We're going. Ah, run!
I think that was it. I haven't had a chance to look at the book though, to confirm that. Uh, yep, it is. Well, I think I'm gonna run out of fuel before I get back to base. It won't be far off, but I reckon we're gonna run out before we get back there. Oh, it's gonna be close. If I can hit the hill, we might be okay. Get up there, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up the hill. We're almost there. It's gonna die any second now from fuel loss. It did actually get us all the way back to base pretty much bang on though. Tell you what. Pretty good. Uh, right, let's see. Um, let's see what fits where. Right, so we got the Analex of Confucius, King Arthur, and Combustion Engines. Now, what do they do? Young Blade, Zombie Hunter, Master Mechanic. So that's this one. Young Blade. What's the other one? Zombie Hunter. Really? Why do they always be zombies trying to get up in my business? I'm at home. Leave me alone. Zombie hunter. Where the hell is zombie hunter? Ah, oh, there. Bang. Hmm. Maybe we should do that too. That'll probably be good. There we go. Activate coil skill explosion resistance. Yeah, I have no idea how that stuff works either. Not a clue. Alright, we need to eat. Uh, food. Make some food real quick. I upgraded this as well. Because we've got a lot of fish, we'll just make some fish. Maybe one more. Let's see. Yeah, one more. Screw it. Now we got 140 satiation. And we'll lie down and heal our health. Alright, got 111 fuel. That's almost full, not quite. There we go. We won't take all of it or anything, we'll just friggin' take what I think we need to hit full. Oh, that's a little bit more than that. I gotta organize all these chests and everything as well. That's gonna be a whole nother thing to try and do. Okay. Explosive resistance skill. What is that a part of? Okay, so that's the swimming pool one. Is 
done that. I need to organize electricity as well. Okay, even the bone shoes are just a straight up upgrade before it's even been upgraded. So, we definitely got to put the bone shoes on. There we go, 15.4 protection over 7.2. Um, and then we can do this. There we go. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. So if we do that. Down. Ah. Uh. What about if I put like this? What does that do? It seems completely random. Okay. The efficiency of equipment reassembly is directly linked to the grade and tier of the equipment used as material. If you put in really high-valued equipment, the result will be correspondingly awesome. Your chances of getting higher tier goods increase. Conversely, if you use cheaper equipment, the outcome might be more ordinary or even lower. Mm. So keep in mind the desired result and choose your materials wisely. Trust your instincts. Trust my instincts. That's 51. That's actually higher. Fifty-three, bang. Ooh, bone gloves. Okay, let's also just go bang, 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 bang. Hmm. Trying to get decent stuff out of it. Also sort out and get rid of some of this. I don't know what I got. I didn't even see what I got. I'm trying to see if we can really get anything else out of this. Plus five memory, plus five HP. I really don't know what I got. Did I even get anything? Oh yeah, That's I got this. Right. Getting good stuff isn't easy, my Aye. friend. But try to be more hip. Persistently keep gathering equipment and show off your skills by assembling them. As you keep at it someday, there'll come a day when that shining piece of equipment will have your name on it. Will it now? We need a mic. Plastic. No, we made to make rubber, actually. Here we go. Uh, ready. Let's see. So, now we've got... The bone armor. Okay. 
23 protection. Then we got these bone gloves as well that can be upgraded. Beautiful. This armor made of bone has been significantly strengthened in terms of damage resistance. Furthermore, it includes a venom coil, making it convenient to enhance related skills. Hmm. Small cloth bag. Let's upgrade that if we can. As well, let's see. Can I upgrade it? No. Doesn't look like you can. It's fine. Put it on and the helmet was the other thing I was going to try and upgrade, wasn't it? I'm actually short on pieces of iron. Okay. All right, I guess we're just going to have to rock the leather helm for now still. Okay, we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to head over to the prison, but I want to go slightly wide for a moment. Just to have a look and see what's over Whoop, this way we can because we didn't go this wide not quite this wide before so I want to go wider like I said I don't have a map pulled up on my other monitor or anything like that I'm trying to just learn as we go for now it's like a bunker thing here is this is this the other spawn? Yeah, this is the other spawn that you can get, I think. I believe, yeah. Yep. Okay. So this, yeah, this spawn leads down here. Just unfogging the map. A little bit at a time, you know. Try and see what we can find as we drive around here. And make our way over to the prison. Like I said, I want to just try and uncover the map as we're driving over there. Because no point driving exactly where we've already been. Because then that doesn't help. Although the prison's on this side of the water. I've got to remember that. So I actually have to cross anyway. I'm going to have to actually cut back across anyway, unless I want to go really long around to get to the prison. Because that's what will happen. We'll have to go all the way around the water side if I do that. So I better cut back across. Alright, this is all new territory now as well. We're on the other side of the water now. Right, obviously, the desert, it, the desert definitely seems to be ramped up in terms of um, resist, like, health pulls for the zombies and also their damage output, I think, is higher as well. And with the gear we had, we were not ready. The bone arm is going to help a hell of a lot. That's very good that we've gotten that now. That'll help tremendously. I don't know why the crocs don't eat the zombies and the zombies don't attack the crocs. They kind of just chill together as one. I mean, no complaints, but just wondering what the go is with that, you know? Hi. Go away. My god, this prison's, are, uh, Yeah, definitely out of the city. Right there. Now, where's the front door? Because we're going to walk straight through it. Right through the front door. Um, a little busy. Yeah, yeah, a little, a uh, little busy. Yeah. Okay, shouldn't be too much issue though. We're pretty, we're pretty, um, 
We got pretty good armor now as well. At least comparatively to what we were just using before. We've definitely got better stuff now. Got him. I'm just going to try and pick at him a little bit. I hate how he turns around like that. Basically took no damage then though. Trying to fight big man over here. There we go. Come on. Oh, you turd. I kick him and he just dies from my legs. Rude. Are you guys running from down the hill? No more coming, is there? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we might be in the clear for now. That's good. Not all the prison zombies are huge either. Would have been a bit unrealistic if all of them were seven and a half feet tall. What the hell? Why are you turn pink, bro? That's rough, man. Get out of here. I'll kick you to death. I don't care. Man, bandages are kind of shit, huh? Kind of actually terrible. Come on, mother truckers. What's happening in here? Hello. Damn. You kind of died like a bitch. Okay, I guess we're just coming here for the sake of... It is a combat quest. It's not a story mission. So literally our biggest benefit is whatever we kill and whatever we can find while we're looting in here. Didn't even touch me. Means didn't even get a chance. Same scenario for our mans here. You got a hit on me, though. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, it's going to get a bit hectic in here. Okay, I'm out of stam. Ow. Um. Alright. Prison uniform. Cool. What's happening in here? Good stuff? Yes. Yes, pretty good stuff. We'll take all of it. Thank you. Not all of it, but... Location. Jail. Jail. <laughs> 
Oh god, he's turned pink. There we go. The only benefit to it is for something to do. I don't think we actually got anything out of it. Except for it giving us another tick off the list and letting us know that it even existed here. Oh, there's a bit going on outside. No. Don't try your bullshit with me, bro. I won't deal with it. I will fuck, 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 fuck you up. We miss anything in here? Apart from just like some boxes around. Oh, yeah. Bit of iron. Can I break the cardboard? I can't seem to loot this. What's upstairs? Little dresses could have some stuff in them. I know this is... I guess I'm out of pieces of iron, so I've also got to make sure I get... some of that. Another equipment repair. More stuff that we can break up for better stuff, so I'll take that whenever I get it. What's going on over here? People chilling in this one? Hello? Just a random dresser. You just want to come brawl, do you? You just want to rumble in the jungle. I mean, I'm ready. Oh, kick us down the fucking stairs, bro. Kick you down the stairs, bro. Smack you both across the dome, bro. You ain't shit, mate. Whoa! Chain handle, a saw, a clamp, and a hologram sight. Interesting. Nice. And that in theory has yeah okay cool that's actually sick i like that uh okay there's no actual doorway to this building so the only way that would have been able to get into the top bit was from where we went from what are you two doing why are you running Head up. Yeah. Ah, he's grabbed me. Kick in your face, you little turd. What else is here? Didn't even get a hit on me. Bitches. Easy peasy. Mm. Well, I don't any of these, really. A hey, big money. Big, big, big money. 
Lots of money. And I was a big fall. Really do think I should have taken some full damage, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, you grumpy bitch. Is it a. Just sometimes I kick them and they light on fire. It's really nice. Really satisfying. Um. Is there an entrance to this building around this side? Yes. What's going on in here? Fucking dick. Grabbing my leg and shit. Trying to pull me down to your level. I'm not going to go down to your level. Because I can't lie prone in this game. So I can't get down to your level. Yeah, legendary bow, that's good. I thought there would have been a book or something in the prison that you could find, but I guess not. I ain't ever gonna hurt anybody, but I'm a little bit tickier when he did it. I'm hungry again. I've got so many iron plates now. They're like nearly 200. Although I guess probably when we start getting to like maybe um rockets or whatever we need to use to handle the big boys that we will need those plates by then is there a gate over here yes mm -hmm. i was gonna say as long as i can get back out yeah, I really thought there would have been, um, books or something, but I didn't find any that I could see. That were, like, prison exclusive or anything, in the looks of it, so that's fine, though. Somewhere different. I really got to look at the map and see how all this loops. I can see that there's another area of water around in the middle here near us. Like right in front of us out there. So I can see that's there, so that's gonna be an area of concern, I'm sure. At some point for sure. We'll have to end up sorting that out. But for now, guys and girls, that is gonna be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Night of the Dead in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace.